Welcome to Century One. In this video, we will be taking a look at the disk activity and disk space tabs within the performance analysis solution. Here we are in the disk activity tab. This tab provides a graphical disk analysis system which breaks down disk activity by latency at the controller, physical disk, and file level. It is used to highlight bottlenecks at any point in the disk system. The disk activity tab is broken up into three sections. The top section displays the graphical representation of the disk system as Windows sees it. The middle section displays activity metrics in a hierarchical disk system format or a database list format. The bottom section displays graphs of some of these metrics. You can tell the latency of the reads and writes to your files by the color and line width shown in the pipes at the top or bottom of the files in the graphical display. As the color changes from green to red, the latency is getting worse. The thickness of the lines will also grow during times of high latency. Please note that the write activity is displayed by the bottom pipe and the read activity is displayed by the top pipe. The middle section of the disk activity tab displays performance metrics such as milliseconds per read and milliseconds per write for each of the physical disks on the server. Other important metrics are displayed here as well, such as the number of read and write operations that have occurred over the last sample polling interval, the total VLFs, and more. As discussed previously, the bottom section of the tab displays the read and write latency, IOPS, and the frequency of data being read from or written to the files. Let's now jump over and take a look at the Disk Space tab. The Disk Space tab displays information about how the disks are being utilized. This information is broken down by database and file and includes metrics such as auto growth settings and number of VLFs as well as other metrics. The main functions of the Disk Space tab are to identify disk space capacity issues, understanding where your database files reside on the disk system, and help you determine if the disk space is being used optimally. Just like the Disk Activity tab, the Disk Space tab is broken up into three sections. The upper section displays a graphical representation of the database layout at the disk level. The middle section is the grid view and displays metrics related to the disk space, such as the names of the files, the databases to which they belong, and more. Finally, once you have drilled down to the disk in the grid view, you will see a third section that reveals the forecasted disk exhaustion based on your usage history for that disk. The last thing that I will mention about the Disk Space tab is that you can click on the data files in the graphical section of the tab and the indexes used for that database will be viewable in a band just below the disks. This is used to display disk space that is being used by each index. If you have any questions about this information, or you would like further assistance, please navigate to our support website at support.century1.com. Thanks for watching.